Okay, I'm uh, just trying to try out my new uh, HD camera, see how it works. Stuff. I'm um, nice little Christmas present this year. And uh, check it out the 30 gallon tank. I still get the allergy bloom still here. It's going down though. It's. Um, I think I need to do a little bit more with the cleanup crew. I don't think nine hermit crabs and, uh, and one snail is going to do it. <laughs> but they are working at it. Stuff, I can see him, he's doing it right there. But, you know, my first tank. But <clears throat> I'm liking the way it's coming out so far. You know, I probably went a little bit faster than most people would like and stuff. But I only got, I got the two clownfish, hawkfish, there's a cleaner shrimp in there. I think there's like nine hermit crabs. But maybe tomorrow or something, I'm gonna maybe get an emerald crab, something like that, throw it in there. Something that's gonna eat some of this allergy, but it, it's, uh, you can see they're working at it though. I mean, they ain't slacking. I love the LED lighting though. I got one strip, but uh, not there, but I'm going to, uh, I get two more. They're expensive. But, you know, I haven't known if they use any power, and supposedly, um, you don't really have to replace them too much. <clears throat> Got the cocoa worm. It's growing really fast. I can't believe it. Like, I just, I, he hasn't been in there that long. The tank's about a month and a half old. <clears throat> Stuff, but everybody seems pretty happy. I was just, you know, Kind of worried when I got home one day and the allergy was going crazy. But uh, I was told it was normal. I do a lot of reading. And, uh, you know, actually, YouTube seems to help a lot. You know, I got like New York Stilo, he knows, he knows quite a lot and stuff. But I, I pretty much take a bunch of trains of thought and combine them into one. See, so come up with my own thing and stuff. I do think that uh, from a lot of people and stuff, and I. Actually, I know I'm friends with a few marine biologists, and a lot of people tend to go overboard and stuff, which is nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a, it's less maintenance for you, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I really agree with everybody's train of thought. He maintains reef tanks and stuff, and he goes, the only thing I use is live rock and a protein skimmer. He goes, the sump, he goes, it helps and stuff, but he goes, it, he don't need it. Stuff like that, but we'll see. I might actually, if I had a bigger tank, I might go with a sump, but for this 30 gallon, I I don't know, I don't really see it's worth it. And protein skimmer seems to be doing a pretty good job. All the levels are zero. If I have a, <clears throat> what you may call it? This filter on the side that only runs at night, it's got a phosphate pad and nitrate pad in there. It seems to help, but it seems to be helping. I mean, everything seems to be dying back because it was really, really bad a few days ago. But we'll see. Well, that's it for now. Oh, and I also uh, cut back on feeding them so much. So I cut down like the size in queue. I feed them like once a day, half a cube of uh, shrimp, frozen shrimp they have there. But, I love that hawkfish. <laughs> Tries to chase that shrimp around the tank and stuff. It's pretty amusing, but <laughs> the shrimp is way too big for him right now. Hopefully he stays ahead of him. But I don't know, it's just I haven't had if I haven't had a saltwater tank for very long, but wanting to do one for a long time, but I know, I just, I just sit here and, you know, have a cup of coffee in the morning and sit here and watch it, even with the allergy. I know everybody's like, oh man, you got all this stuff over your tank and stuff, but it's just beautiful. That bubble coral, it, half of it was, I know you see half the skeleton right there, but pretty much, it was pretty much all dead when I got it home. I don't know what happened on the car ride home, but the, I put it in the tank and half the bubbles, over half the bubbles were gone. But it's coming back, so that's good. It seems happy. I had, I had some, like, I put it, I probably put that in too early too, that I had some level fluctuation and the bubbles weren't blowing up 
I mean, but for like the last two weeks or something, it's been really happy with the levels and good. And I think the nitrite levels were messing with it. What's up, buddy? <laughs> He's so amusing. But I know, I know, I'm just rambling here. I don't, this, I'm not, I'm new to this. So I promise I'll try to get better. <laughs> so uh, 